Hey guys welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be making a video on my unpopular opinions. I know this trend is old but it's still not dead yet so I thought why not make a video about it. I think I have some pretty unpopular opinions and I hope none of these are repetitive. Also let me quickly put a disclaimer all of these are just my opinions so feel free to disagree with me. So my first opinion is one you totally deserve to be the center in Izoni. I think this opinion might be outdated but I still wanted to include it since I still see people hating on her. Yes I know that the lineup Gora Izoni is rigged and she probably didn't have the most votes but she is trying her best to carry out her performances, she can sing and dance well and not to mention she has amazing facial expressions. Okay, so my next opinion is that most groups who are labeled as underrated aren't even really RGP underrated. Whenever people talk about unpopular groups they bring up the same three or four groups who usually have like millions of views on their MVs and have thousands of followers while there are a lot of groups and artists who barely have any fans or even casual listeners. My next opinion might not be that unpopular but I still wanted to include it. Just because a company isn't in the big three doesn't mean it's a small company. Like the other day I was watching an interview of Soi Yeon where she was asked if she thinks G Idol is more popular than Itzy and there was a comment on that video saying that G Idol would have been more popular if they were from a big company like Honeycube is a big company. Now let's talk about cultural appropriation and racism in KPOP. Recently I have heard other people talk about it a lot more but I think I still an unpopular opinion so I will include it. You need to hold your faves accountable for their actions. Yes sometimes it's not their fault like when the stylist dresses them up but even when the idol does something wrong for example saying something racist in an interview their fans are quick to defend them and make excuses for them. Most of the times these idols are grown adults and don't even apologize for their actions but you are still going to defend them. Line distribution and center time usually aren't as big of an issue as people make it seem. The line distributions can never be equal and lines are distributed according to the member's position and vocal capabilities. If a member is not singing much it's usually because they won't be able to pull off those lines. Twice has one of the best if not the best discographies in KPOP people need to talk about it more I don't even need to elaborate this one. Next one, I feel like a lot of prejudices and stereotypes locals have about KPOP comes from KPOP fans themselves okay so hear me out on this one. I will give an example stands will call idols gay and make gay compilations of idols but as soon as a non-fan says that KPOP is gay you all are gonna attack them like you weren't doing the same this before. Another unpopular opinion I have is that it's completely fine to be a solo stan if you like on member from the group and you want to support THST member in a respectful way you should be free to do it. It's totally understandable if you are only able to connect with one member from the group and want to support them. My next opinion is that they don't matter that much like people really be staying up to stream a music video doesn't set right with me. Also purple calling a song or group flop just because they don't have a lot of views on their MVs like it doesn't matter that much. Okay so that's all I have for today now I am going to leave bye. bye.